Hi, I'm John Jorgensen. I'm an entertainment reporter with the Wall Street Journal. We're here at the WSJ Cafe with our guest, Cassandra Wilson. Thanks so much for being here. Before. Thank you, John. Uh, for your new album, Another Country, you started the work in New Orleans, but mostly recorded in Italy. Did the music have a Mediterranean sound to it even before you got to Florence? Um, well, because Fabrizio Sati is, you know, from a Mediterranean country, <laughs> I think it did. Yeah, the, the combination, you know, there's always that uh, subtext that's going on, you know, when, whenever we get together. He brings his own flavor to it, as do I. He co-produced the album, he co-wrote some of the songs, yes. he plays guitar on a couple of lead instrumentals uh, yes. on, on the album. Is collaboration, especially on that level, is that essential to what you do? Actually, this is the first time that I've collaborated with another artist to that extent. I, and I really enjoyed it because, uh, you know, song, songwriting for me usually is a very solitary uh, process. And so I, I was happy to have the opportunity to work with another human being <laughs> in, in writing some music and exchanging ideas. And, and I'm really happy with the result. Some people go to foreign lands to change up their surroundings, mm -hmm. get new experiences. Some people travel to get away from things. Um, was there anything about being in Italy that meant distancing yourself from past patterns? Or? No, because Italy is very familiar. Mm. Uh, every time I've traveled there in the past, I, I especially like Italy because uh, it feels a lot like home. You know, there's, the climate is warm, there's sun people, they're family oriented, they're food oriented, you know, very much like southerners are. So uh, I, I definitely feel that there's a parallel. The, the southern sounds and, and the delta sound has really been such a bedrock of your work mm -hmm. for so long. How do you see that transforming, especially with that new setting and, and new things you're exploring? Wow, uh, you know, that's a, that's a great question. Um, it's interesting being in, um, in, in Florence, you know, because we were in Florence for 10 days and uh, I had actually performed at Fiesole, which is a town right outside of Florence, and they have, uh, they're doing a, a, an Etruscan dig there. And uh, we really felt a lot of energy there when we performed there. And I think that, you know, that is the connection. There is uh, a sense that I had that this music is not very different from the music that we, we have created in the American South. You've spent the last 10 years or so on Blue Note Records, um, a label that gave you and helped with many of your breakthrough records and um, had a lot of great years there, but you've made a change. You have retained ownership of all your new music. Yes. Um, what spurred that change for you? Well, the desire to have uh, ownership. <laughs> <Take it. laughs> You know, it's, it's difficult when you work with the majors to have uh, those kinds of uh, relationships. You recently opened uh, a music venue in your hometown of Jackson, Mississippi called The Yellow Scarf. Yes. Does that have anything to do with this, you know, this move towards independence? Yeah, it has a lot to do with it. I think it's important uh, to not just have a structure for artists, but it, it's very important to have a venue where uh, people can perform, artists can show their works, uh, and there are audiences that can come into Jackson, Mississippi, which we want to become a destination at some point <laughs> in time, and to see, you know, uh, high quality art and uh, performances of music. I understand the yellow scarf is also where you keep your Steinway as well. I do. <laughs> you heard about it. <laughs> You have to have somewhere to put that thing. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's, that's funny you should say that because that's, that was really one of the reasons I uh, decided to open the scarf is because I wanted someplace special to put the uh, Steinway. And uh, it, you know the story behind it, it was, uh, got it from New Orleans, a lot of great musicians played on it, people like Professor Longhair, you know, so I wanted to make sure that, that there was a space that would accommodate this great instrument. The anchor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Cassandra Wilson, thanks so much for coming in and playing for us today. Oh, thank you. It's been a great pleasure. For the Wall Street Journal, I'm John Jorgensen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Thanks, That's man. great.
great Appreciate interview. It. Thank you. When I woke up in the morning, I was breathing.